Aloha. Thanks for your consideration of the views expressed in this think tech commentary, which we are calling a new generation of scams. The subject we will cover is how very sophisticated these scammers are getting. The more careful you are, the more sophisticated they get. They're a new generation of scammers. After all, the scam business is very lucrative. They're out there learning new ways to catch you. They're all over the world, and sometimes they're corporate or state actors. They're hard to find, and government is unable to catch them. So it's mostly up to you to protect yourself. We're all increasingly dependent on what computers can do for us, especially with AI. And don't forget that the scammers can use AI too. In any event, we're all potentially victims, and the stakes are higher all the time. They get your email address, then they forge the names and logos of legitimate companies and send you fake email. They may tell you that you owe them money, that you need to renew your subscription, or that you need to have support. They may ask you to call a number. It will be a phony number. Then they con you into allowing them access to your machine, where they do everything they can to steal from you, leave Trojan software there, and otherwise wreak havoc on your data and your life. They could get into your accounts and get your private information. You won't know who they give it to, and when they will use it against you, or come back and quietly loot your machine. So be sure to look at the return address on any email. Read every unknown email for spelling, grammar, and format. If it's fishy, stop immediately, delete it and consider turning your machine off. Then come back and change your passwords. You may also want to reset your system. Be paranoid when you click on a link on a questionable email or website. Watch your screen. Look for telltale signs suggesting an intrusion. Be alert and don't take anything for granted. If you feel you're at the wrong end of a sting, consult a professional. Here's the takeaway. It's not safe. We're still waiting for a better way to deal with cybersecurity and to protect ourselves from scams. And we're also waiting for government to catch and prosecute these people, no matter where they are. Thanks for your consideration of the views expressed in this think tech commentary, which we are calling a new generation of scams. Aloha.